Hi, this is Aaron at thinkboutlabs.com and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this series, we'll be having a look at setting up a 2D side-scrolling sci-fi game in Unity 3D. To get started, let's go download some art assets for our main character. GameArt2D is a great place to go find 2D assets. They have character sprites, tile sets, and game UI. We're going to go up to the freebies, free sprites, tile sets and game UI again. These are all royalty free so you're welcome to use them as needed. I'll select the robot free sprites and download it. And we're also going to go ahead and download the sci-fi platform tile set. We'll be using that later. Go ahead and get that downloaded. Let's create a new Unity project. At the time of this recording I'm using Unity 5.3.5 F1. Let's create a new project call it sci-fi robot and this is going to be 2d Great project All right when you create a 2d project it will automatically put it in 2d view which is exactly what we want let's go ahead and create a few folders create folder and call it sprites and spell today and animations we'll be creating animations based on those sprites that we've downloaded so let's go into the sprites folder and in the robot free folder that we downloaded we have one folder and then a lot of images all the images are labeled for what their animation is based off of. So we have dead, idle, jump, jump melee, run, shoot, run, shoot, and slide. And then our objects, we have some bullets and then we have some muzzle flashes for the bullets. Okay. Let's go ahead and import all those into our scene. And actually before that, let's create a subfolder under sprites and call it robot. Because so we may have quite a few assets to import. Okay, this shouldn't take very long. The PNGs aren't very large. Perfect. Alright, now that they're downloaded, go ahead and select one. And you can see that by default they're already set as a sprite 2D UI object. And the sprite mode is single. Since these only have a single image in the sprite, we're going to leave it on single. Okay. Let's go ahead and create an empty game object. And we're going to name it player. And then under player, I'm going to create a 2D object sprite. And this is going to be our robot. Okay. The next thing we need to do is set up our animations. To do that, go to the animation tab. If you don't have it open, go ahead and open it up via the window. When you have a sprite selected and the animation window open, it'll ask you if you want to create an animation clip based off that sprite. In this case, it's the robot that we have selected. So go ahead and click create. And let's go to our animations and create a folder in there called robot. And the first animation that we're going to create is the first one in the list, which is dead. So call your animation dead. Save that. Okay, a couple things happen when you create your first animation clip. In the animation tab, you can see that the time frame at the top has started. The red line is where that time frame is at in time. On our robot sprite, you can see that it's added an animator to it. In the animator, we have a controller for our robot. The controller provides all the information for our animations. So let's go back to our dead sprite animations. Let's go back to our sprites. Okay, so on our sprites, if you look on the bottom right hand corner you can see that when I cycle through them 
they're in the right order already and they're labeled accordingly. So I'm going to drag these in here one by one and let's start at keyframe zero. The blue diamond represents what keyframe you're on. So I'm going to dra drag these in here on five second intervals. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Now let's go ahead and play it. Play button is right up here next to the record button. So click play. You can see that our sprites are animating. Looks good. Go ahead and stop that. And we'll create one more and then I'll let you do the rest. So under the record button is the label for dead. Select it and then let's create new clip. And we're going to do the idle. Idle. Go ahead and save that. Animation resets. So let's start at 1, go to 2, I'm going to do these at 5 seconds as well, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, let's go ahead and play that. You can see he's got a little bounce to him. Pretty smooth. Alright, and the last thing before I end this video is that when you create your animations, they're added into an animator. If you don't have that tab open, go back up to Window and open up your animator. An animator is a state machine where we can provide parameters to switch in between our animations. So going from an idle to a walk, we'll say that our speed has increased. To go from a walk back to an idle, we'll say that our speed has decreased. And we'll talk about that in the next video. For now, go back to your animations and finish setting up all of these sprites. And name them just as they are here. Alright, we'll see you in the next video. Till then.